Hello everyone, how are you today? I'm Dr. Paramjit and you're watching Dr. Education. Welcome back to my channel. And as you know, I make health and healthcare videos in very simplified language and all my information is directly referenced from the US National Medical Library and that's why you can trust this information. So today, I'm going to talk about acne scars and we are going to consider everything, we are going to discuss everything there is to know about scars. Uh, the symptoms, the causes, how they look, what are the types, what is the treatment and what are the health tips, homemade tips, simple tips, tricks which you can use to prevent scars or treat scars. So let's start with acne scars. If you want to know about health and have health concerns, then subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon. You'll be notified about all upcoming videos. So if acne scar bothers you, there are safe and effective treatment. The treatment can diminish acne scars that can cause depression in the skin. And treatment can also safely reduce scars which are raised. So many treatments are available. In short, if I have to tell you, there are laser treatments, minor skin surgeries, chemical peels, fillers, then a dermatologist can actually give you an idea what treatment is required for your particular case. And most treatments can actually happen in a daycare, as a daycare procedure. So you don't have to get admitted. But first, we have to understand what are acne scars and acne scars is different from a post inflammatory pigmentation PIP. You also need to understand that as we age acne scars often become more noticeable because our skin loses collagen. The key to effective treatment is to select the best one for each scar type. You have to choose a different treatment for each scar type. There are types of scars. For example, a patient who has a deep scar may benefit from getting a filler, filling, which adds volume to the skin and this may be followed by a laser treatment. Now, before getting these treatments for an acne scar, it is most important for you to clear your present acne. New acne breakouts can actually lead to new acne scars and having acne also means that your skin is inflamed and inflammation reduces the effectiveness of the treatment for acne scars. Now to obtain the best result a dermatologist first examines your skin and after proper examination some patients are surprised to learn that their acne scars are actually a different skin problem. They are not at all acne scars. So you need to first understand acne scars, what are they and how do they look, what are their types. So what you can see on your skin varies with the type of acne scar you have. Your doctor dermatologist will talk about two basic type of acne scar. First is depressed. Most acne scar causes a depression or a pit in the skin. Depressed scars usually form on the face and a dermatologist may refer to these scars as atrophic, atrophic scars or they might use other specific names like ice pick scars, rolling scar, box scar scars. So this is the first type, depressed scars. The second type is raised scars. These are acne scars which are more common on the back and chest. These are raised. These are in medical terms called hypertrophic scars. So hypertrophic scars are raised and depressed scars are like pits. So what are the causes? Who gets an acne scar? Now you need to understand that some people are more likely to see scars when their acne clears. The risk 
increases when a person has inflammatory acne which means the acne will have swelling it will have redness and pain such as acne cyst or nodule now these type of acne tend to penetrate deep into the skin which actually damages the skin and when it heals it leaves a pit so it will cause scar now second thing which can lead to acne scars are delayed treatment if you don't take treatment on time or if you don't treat inflammatory acne at all if you don't treat these acnes on time or if you don't treat them at all the longer a person has inflammatory acne the greater the risk of scarring now picks squeezes and popping an acne picking an acne increases inflammation and therefore increases the risk of scarring so that's why you should never even touch your acne directly you should just apply the cream and if you have a blood relative who has developed a lot of acne scars then you might even have that it has some genetic predisposition so now although we know that what increases a person's risk of developing acne scar it is not possible to predict who will develop acne scars for sure even people who have all the risk factors may not have acne scars after having acne it is however possible to prevent acne scars with effective acne treatment so preventing acne is much more easier than treating acne treating acne is very difficult as i have told in my other videos so you can watch how to prevent acne in all my videos there is a whole series on acne there are four videos explaining everything you have to know about acne in the basic language from an authentic and verified database so waiting to treat acne until it becomes severe is not a good choice it can lead to extensive scarring so what exactly causes acne scars when these acne break out penetrates the skin deeply they can actually damage the skin and the tissue beneath it as the acne clears the body tries to repair this damage and during this healing process the body produces collagen which is a substance that gives the skin support if the body produces too little or too much collagen you will see a scar too little collagen there will be a pit the two types of scar depend upon how much collagen your body makes depressed acne scars means that the body produces too little collagen so depression or pits form as your skin heals and raised acne scars these are sometimes the body produces too much collagen as it tries to heal the skin and the underlying tissue when this happens a person will develop a raised acne scar now this type of acne scar is more common in people who have darker skin color so even when we do our best to prevent acne scars some people will still have scars there are many treatment options which can significantly diminish depressed or raised acne scars safe and effective treatment of acne scars begin with a consultation you need to go to a dermatologist and during the consultation the doctor will examine your skin paying close attention to your scars and they will ask you some essential questions so to get most of the consultation people find it helpful to answer the following questions before meeting a dermatologist first question you need to ask yourself is why do i want to treat my acne scars treatment is not for everyone some people feel that scars are not so bad others feel that scars affect their everyday life doctors often recommend treatment only when your answer to the following any of these following question is yes i like do i do you often wish that you could get rid of all these acne scars do you feel that your scar limit your opportunity to date or get a job or advance your career or perform well in school or do you feel less social now than before you had acne scars 
then the second question is how do you want to look after treatment some people want less noticeable scars others wish to eliminate the wavy skin texture the third question is what can you afford to spend on the treatment because some of these treatments are very costly so affordability is a factor then how much downtime do you have because treatment requires time how much time will you devote to getting treatment and caring for your skin that is very important if you won't devote any time your answer will help determine which treatment will be best for you so how do dermatologists treat acne if you and your dermatologist believe that treatment is right for you your doctor will create a treatment plan tailored to your need to your skin type to your acne scar levels and types if you have taken isotretinoin already to treat acne be sure to tell your doctor before treatment of acne scar begins to obtain the best result a dermatologist may recommend more than one treatment for example if you have a deep pit boxer scar often these deep pit scars look like a large pore in that case laser treatment and a type of acne scar surgery called subcision may be necessary to give you the result you want now here i am giving you a table of list of treatments that dermatologists may use now your dermatologist would decide in your case which type of treatment is best for you so there are acne scar surgeries resurfacing filling skin lightening collagen induction electro desiccation and sometimes in raised scars there are injections then acne scar surgeries laser therapy cryo surgery and scar cream gel silicones now let's talk about depressed acne scars many effective treatments are there the best result often comes from using two or more treatments the treatment that a dermatologist may use to treat depressed scar may include acne scar surgery now this sounds scarier than it is because this surgery is a minor surgery which treats the very noticeable acne scars the goal is to create a lesser noticeable scar the remaining scar should fade with time so to perform this acne scar surgery a doctor dermatologist may lift the scars bringing the scar closer to the surface of the skin tending to make it lesser noticeable less noticeable another type of acne scar surgery involves breaking up the scar tissue and these type of surgeries can be performed in the medical office in the clinic no need to get admitted it's a day care procedure so very easily done in some time a little amount of time patient remain awake and numb so they do not feel the pain this acne scar surgery is best for treating few depressed scar if you have few depressed scars the best treatment is acne scar surgery the second procedure is resurfacing procedures when a patient wants to diminish the appearance of wide spread acne scarring a dermatologist recommends resurfacing procedure which actually removes the layer of skin which allows the body to produce new skin cells now a dermatologist may use many different procedures to do this they can use a laser skin resurfacing chemical peeling derm abrasion microderm abrasion which is different from the kits which you can buy for home use this is different now resurfacing works well for treating acne scars that are nearly flat they are not too deep so they work better for them even derm abrasion which removes the top layer of the skin and some of the middle layer cannot effectively treat deep acne scars so this resurfacing procedure is best for depressed acne scars that are not very deep and useful for contouring the scar edges to make the scar less noticeable deep 
scars often require a skin surgery and then resurfacing.